Hey guys, so... We have a lot of chickens. I think this is a prank. Somebody put a bunch of chickens in my mushroom pen. But, really, I it it's not a bad thing. We need arrows, so we can get a lot of feathers now. So it's not a bad thing that that happened. If you noticed here, we have two diamond blocks. It's actually 18 diamonds, but somebody bought two mushrooms and left two diamond blocks, which is cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab those. So now we have 18 diamonds more. I clearly stated, no pranks on mushrooms, but I guess that wasn't on the mushrooms, that was in their pen. But still, in the end it plays out in our advantage, so that's going to be a lot of feathers for us. Probably a couple stacks of arrows from that one. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm uploading a video right now, so it's a little bit laggy. I don't want to record too much. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And I will see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so I have finished the outline for the walls and towers and that for the port. And um, that's really the last section that's going to be... Well, the last planned section for now. Like there's... The castle courtyard and the castle main castle building is going to be over there. And then we're going to have the port here. And then I'm thinking that this will be like where the houses and that for the commoners will be. And then there's the commoners courtyard. can't remember if I told you guys about that part yet. But uh, anyway, so that's how that's going to all work out. <coughs> I like the idea of uh, the, the walls and the towers out in the water. Seems pretty cool. Because since this is like a medieval themed castle or whatever, it would be like if you would ever have like enemies approaching this way, they would have to actually swim, which they wouldn't be able to do. Well, I mean, in Minecraft they could, but medieval times it would be a bit of a pain to swim around a tower to get into the port. Of course they could have boats, but anyways, whatever. So, now you'll also notice there's a pillar there and then there and then there and just goes out that way. They also go out over there. And those are, I was talking to some guys and I've decided that I have reserved this entire biome now for building. I've talked to anybody who's built in the biome and they've they've uh, been very understanding about it because what I want to do is I want to have this like a medieval themed biome. So it's going to be like the, the big castle and then you're going to have the paths going out into the biome, you'll have villages and all that sort of thing. And I think that's going to look pretty cool in the end. We might have a forest somewhere too. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to be pretty cool whenever... It's going to take a long time to do, but it's going to be pretty cool when it's done. Now, um, I think what I'm going to do too is I'm just going to finish all the walls and just all of the walls and towers and all that off camera because really you don't got, you guys don't need to watch me do it all since I've done it plenty of times here um, I just wanted to show you guys me doing the first bits and that's that's really it because everything else is just duplicating that pretty much other than of course how th that there is different like this wall is different from that wall and then this one's the same as that one and then these walls aren't actually going to be able to walk through. They're just going to be enclosed. However, there will be a walkway on top of them. But, uh, anyways. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish all of those. And I'll see you guys whenever I finish that. Something else I wanted to show you guys before I started building is that uh, somebody came, ar came around and... Uh, donated a ton of stone bricks so that's gonna last us a while actually that might even last us the rest of the walls and towers I'm not a hundred percent sure on that but it could easily last us that long considering how much is actually here the only thing that we're short on now is just regular stone so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to build the cobblestone and stone bricks part and then I'll put in the stone bits later because really the stone bits aren't part of the main structure it's just like the extra detail like right in there well, I guess they do hold the windows but that's easy to do so anyways so I'm gonna get to that 
and I will see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so I need some wood for some fence posts, and well, frankly I was just too lazy to go out and chop a bunch of wood, so I'm going ahead and trading six of my diamonds for three stacks of wood. And no, he didn't ask for, for six diamonds, but I offered six, so probably could have offered three, but nah. Either way. Oh, there he is. And the trade is done. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. And, uh, I was, uh, something else I wanted to say is, I was wrong about how many stone bricks we would need, because we need a lot more than we actually have, because I got, what was it, I got one tower and two walls done, and we're almost out of stone bricks already. So I think what I'm going to do, too, is I'm just going to go and try and get a ton of coal so that I can cook up a bunch of my cobble. I mean, it's only eight coal per cobble, so, uh... Shouldn't be too much of a problem. But anyway, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so uh, the guy that gave me some wood, uh, what's his name? Exluro. He uh, came over to my house and actually gave me two more stacks of wood. Free of charge, he said. So, uh... That's pretty nice. As you can see, I made a whole ton of fence here. That should last. I'd imagine that should be enough to finish the castle. Hopefully. Or, like, finish all the fence we need for the castle. And over here, something that uh, we're, I'm going to do is... This is not just going to be three open spots. It's going to be similar to that wall over there at the front where there are stairs going up on either side. And then the, just the middle one will be able to be walked through. So, because uh, I figured it's really a pain to have to run so far just to get up on the wall, so I'm going to put this here, and I also, these middle towers, I put, I continued the spiral staircase right down to the bottom. So that'll uh, help with getting up into the walls and all that. But anyway, so as you can see, I've been making some progress. Um, I still do need coal, though, like I said. But anyway, so I'm going to get to putting these fences in where they're needed and finishing this stair bit here, and then I'm going to go get some coal, and I will see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so I was just mining, and like going down into the tunnel under my, or the caves under my house and mining, and I found something interesting. Not far from right where you come into the caves, there's some diamonds that we, me and DTM had missed the first time we went down there, which is kind of sad. Now I've got Dragon of Fate here, and he's got a fortune pick, so he's going to come down and help us out. I just went down too far. There we go. So it's literally, I just made a little redstone path so I can remember where it was, but it's literally just a stone's throw away. It's like right over here. I was amazed at how close it actually was. Right there. In this one tunnel, little tunnel, we didn't come down. We went around this tunnel, but not, we didn't actually go into this tunnel. Wow, five diamonds. <laughs> five diamonds from four nodes with fortune pick fail. <clears> hmm, <throat> that's kind of funny. But yeah, so we went down that tunnel over there and down this tunnel here, but we did not touch this one, which I found really interesting, that we searched these caves. S 
so hard, and we missed Diamond that close to the entrance of the cave. I find it kind of funny, actually. But, uh, anyways, so I'm going to keep collecting resources. As you can see, I have a stack and a half of coal, so that'll last for 12 stacks of stone. And I'm going to want a lot more than that, so I'm going to keep mining, and I will see you guys in a little while. Alright, so I just found another spot that me and DTM missed as well. Which is very sad that we managed to miss this as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought we had, like, at the time, I thought we had found everything. But it's really not looking like it. I just, I'm hearing a lot of zombies. Wow. Wouldn't be surprised if I find even more diamonds. Okay, there has to be a spawner here. There just has to be. Oh yeah, yeah, that's spawner noise. Indeed. Oh boy. And here come the mobs. <sighs> click, click, click. Don't want to break any of the mossy right away. I mean, I'm probably going to collect it, but I don't want to break it yet. Whoa. Get out of my face. Okay, I need I need to eat. I need food. If I'm going in there, I want to be full on food for sure. All right. Let's go. And torch is back on the bar. Spawner disabled. All right. Huh, well that was a nice little find there. Let's see what we got. Lots of bread. That's nice. Uh buckets, good. Uh, buckets and string. Actually, how many buckets was that? Three? That's not bad. That's not a bad find at all. That would be nine iron, so... wonder what's up here. Yeah, I'm very surprised that me and DTM missed quite a portion of this, uh... mine shaft. Like, I thought we... Huh, it, it just surprises me that we missed so much earlier on. But anyways, so I think I'm gonna I think what we should do actually is maybe make a XP farm out of that um, out of that zombie spawner and maybe see if we can get up to level 50 finally after all this time. Because I don't, I've never, the highest I've ever been I think was level Wow, we missed so much. I think the highest level I've been so far is like 27 or something like that. Okay, we're we're bound to find dot. <sighs> right as I say it too. Whoa, creeper, buggy creeper. That was weird. Yep, of course. <laughs> right as I say it, we find diamond. Alright, well, let's see what's in this chest. Okay. Pumpkin seeds, that's nice. Alright, let's see how many diamond we have here. Man, I kind of feel bad about having to get Dragon of Fate to come back again. because he was like just here and he just went all the way back to his house and now I'm going to ask him to come back again. Alright. Okay, enough mining the coal. Let's see what we have. We have at least four. Keep going around it. We have at least five. Six. Yep, we have six. I think. I think it would. Yep. Alright, six. That's pretty awesome. It's not a bad find at all. 
All right, so here it goes. Okay, so see if he comes around. I think what I'm going to do is, once again, I'm going to make a redstone path that goes... goes to it, just so that we know where it is. See, this is why we need level 50. Oh, is that a ravine? No. This is why we need a level 50 enchantment, because then we could possibly get fortune, which we could then use to actually mine these diamonds that we are finding. But anyways, I think I'm just going to go ahead and record all of this caving, and I'll just show you guys anything interesting that happens. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little while. Alright, so I came across more diamond here, and it's amazing because just through this wall right there, there's a tunnel which we had went through, and right through here, there's a tunnel we had went through, and we just barely missed that diamond. If this block hadn't have been there, we would have seen the diamond. Just goes to show how close you can be to something, and not even see it there. So there's another uh, four. It sucks that I don't have anybody right now with a... Uh, oh, Dragon of Fate said that he would come by later and do it. So mine the diamond in that. So uh, yeah, so I have to just mark all these off and... Uh, mark all these off with the redstone and... come back to it later little bit concerning having to just leave it there <laughs> but uh, I don't even actually know I need to figure out where the other diamond was hmm that's a good question but anyways so I'm just gonna keep going through here and see you guys whenever something interesting happens again hey guys so I walked away from the diamonds for a couple moments and I've been walking around for the past half an hour looking for them <laughs> So, yeah, they're they're lost. I lost the diamonds. And I didn't even mine them. On the upside, I might find them later down the road. Oh, and of course, I can find my way back here. But, uh, yeah, for now, they're lost. That's... Yeah, we lost ten, ten, ten diamond ore. <laughs> That's kind of sad. They're somewhere in the caves. But anyways, I'm going to head back to the surface. I think I have a... Uh, sufficient amount of coal, which is what we came down here for anyways. It's almost three stacks. I also got some half stack of gold and over a stack and a half of iron. So that that's a lot better. And we have five diamonds, so that's a lot better than uh, I had imagined I'd get when I initially came down here to get coal. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, going to, hopefully this coal will be enough to finish the walls and the towers. Not actually sure if it will be, but while well, each stack will give me eight stacks of stone, so that'd be yeah, I'm close to 24 stacks of stone, which yeah, it might not be enough. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll find out in time, though. It probably won't be. But anyways, I'm going to get back to work, and I will see you guys in a little while. Okay guys, so we've ended up with about 20 stacks of smooth stone, so that should... I'm, I don't think that's going to be enough to completely finish the walls in that. It might be. I'm kind of doubting it though. Um, so yeah, I just threw all of them in the furnaces and organized my stuff while I waited. But anyways, so... Actually, it might be enough. I, I kind of doubt it, but it might be enough. 
And I, I realized something when I was building that wall over there. There's more cobblestone in this build than there is um, stone brick. I was kind of unsure about that one. I, I know that there's, like, we know that smooth stone-wise, that's the lowest, like, that's the least used in this entire build, but I found it interesting that the cobblestone actually outweighs the stone brick. But anyways, so I'm going to get to work and see you guys hopefully when all the walls and towers are done. Hey guys, so I got a very, a very large donation of uh, coal from one of the guys on the server, and this is not all of the smooth stone I cooked with it. It was about, this chest was completely full of smooth stone. This one was, I'm pretty sure, almost full of smooth stone. So it was a lot of smooth stone. And I've done quite a bit more building over in the distance. I'll show you that in a second. I enchanted two diamond swords here. So I have sharpness two and sharpness one. And I also grabbed some of my gold from my hidden chest and my apples. So we're going to make some golden apples. Pretty sure I grabbed the right amount of gold our gold nuggets. So let's do that. Oops. And then two. There we go. We now have 18 golden apples. That should help us out quite a bit. <clears throat> I should probably stack those torches. So anyways, so I've further organized my stuff. I got a donation of wood here. So we have a lot of fences now. Um, so anyways, we still have quite a, quite a lot of uh, cobblestone. I actually had at one point, I couldn't record at the time, but uh, I had about five people on the server come over and help me clearing this, uh, the hill that was right here. And then I, I did a bit of terraforming and made it look generally natural, if that's possible in Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, so now this big hill is gone, which is pretty nice. But anyway, so let's go look at the, uh, take a look at the, um, new bits of the wall. So, next off, I'm going to be doing this part, because I'm completely done with the, uh, harbor walls and towers and that. And I found out it takes about, um, I, I did count how many, how much, uh, stone, stone bricks, and cobblestone it takes for the wall segments, but I didn't write it down, so I kind of forgot what it was. But I did somewhere here, I wrote down what it takes for the, uh, how many smooth stone, stone, and stone bricks it takes for the towers, which I'm just looking for where I wrote that, wrote that down. Um, hmm. And I cannot find, oh, there it is. It takes... For the towers, it takes eight stacks of stone bricks, four stacks of stone, and three and three-quarter stacks of cobblestone. So earlier when I said that it takes more cobblestone than anything, I was wrong. I was way off. But uh, anyways, so I think that we will actually have enough stone now to complete the walls and the tower segments. I'm not sure about the rest of it, though. But anyway, so yeah, this is the harbor section. I like how it's turning out looks pretty nice and uh, yeah so that's about it um, they've been, they've actually been uh, working on a new ta a new town in the uh, on the server for when we get the 1.2 update they're gonna change spawn over there because right now our current spawn area is very very messy so they've been building a new one and I'm gonna take you guys over there and we can go take a look at that.